upskirt shot here. Something that you don't get to usually see on my car. So bumper's off to work on a few things. Uh, I've been changing fuel back and forth at the track. So um, M1 for safety factor with no intercooler. Now with the intercooler, I'm still gonna try M1. And I was just pulling, th this didn't exist. I was just pulling this off. This is the um, priming pump feed into here. And I just pulled this off and would dump the fuel um, swap to M1 or then after the track, turn on the priming pump and dump it and put uh, pump gas back in. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll make it a little bit easier and do just a, a valve here, ball valve deal, and then long line that I'll loop around and zip tie or something so I can get it out underneath the bumper and into a can. But it's leaking. So I put some, I didn't know the right way, a lot of different fuels. So put some black silicone on here, see if that'll work. But these are tightened to the point of something's gonna break. This one doesn't leak, that one and that one does. But this is the cable drive deal, uh, made a brace for it, it's nice and solid. And then this is the cable that goes to the front. So this thing just, cranks out fuel and then that one there goes to a couple of Bosch 044s and I just have one powered on a switch uh, this was interesting so th this I put on months ago and then I have lead weight that bolts through here and then this kind of just held up the weight um this was a parachute mount which only has pressure this way pulling on the car and it's uh, mounted there to plate that goes to the frame the unibody and when i started doing, you know, hitch rack or the hitch, blah, blah, blah. I needed to brace this because otherwise it moves. So I welded it to the chassis here, just some tabs that really helped. And then I, then I added this for the lead that I talked about. And then these braces that really helped. But what I found at race week is this was still putting so much pressure. It was pulling the sheet metal and so it's dipping down and it ended up cracking this weld here and this weld here. Um, it was all still held together because of this, but only to, to sheet metal. So obviously weld beyond the design parameters, I ended up just toe strap up to my cage to two straps and held it up. And that like was perfect. Like you could put so much weight on there, it didn't matter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is cut a hole through here and then a bar to the cage. So that bar to this beefy bar, which holds up this, obviously re-weld that and probably add one more. Why not add another one here? And that's what needed to be done before. Um, hindsight 2020, obviously. So that's going to really stiffen that up. Um, I'm gonna end up putting bolts on that bar so I can just bolt the lead or other weights right here for no prep. And then I'll still have room for a sub, um, any kind of tools, whatever. There'll still be room. So it doesn't really change the functionality of the car. Actually makes it more functional with being able to remove the lead easier. And then that'll be a lot stronger. I still may do a toe strap to the cage just as a safety factor when towing the trailer, but this will be a lot better. Oh, and then obviously this is where the radiator is going to go.
pretty messy in here. I'll clean it up, but uh, got the these uh, bolts I cut the end off, then welded it to the bar, and then bolted down. That's 60 pounds of lead. And then there's more, there's room to put more plates on top even too if needed. This is mounted. It's uh, nothing fancy, but it had some scrap. And then not focusing, same down there. And the short one on that side it's not moving it's solid so it's got a bit of an angle and then I think what I'm going to do is kind of box this in on this side so when the air comes in it's gonna be a high pressure here and this will be blocked off and then because of this little leading edge here, in theory, it should be a little bit of a low pressure underneath and suck it out, which fans here anyway. Um, if I could have gotten a little more angle down, it would have helped even more, but uh, ground clearance was gonna be an issue. So I made it the same depth as the fuel pumps. So just need to route hoses, box that in, and test for leaks. That didn't go as planned. Um, obviously, a leak there, which I'll fix, but the coolant temps were really high. Um, just creeping, creeping, creeping. So, I guess the radiator's not getting enough airflow because when I stopped and let it idle, they came back down a little. But, um, you know, I, I did order a better fan. That was just a cheap fan that came with it. So I ordered a um, small fan to put on it. Um, but I got, may need to figure out how to get some airflow to it. Thought about putting, um, so the radiator's tilted like this. Thought about putting a, uh, like a, just a piece of metal straight down, which will create more of a low pressure zone behind the radiator. Uh, for the fan to pull through and then maybe force some air up. 
Uh, maybe I have to angle it some more. Let's see if you can see under here. Yeah, not a whole lot of room, but might be able to make some room. Move the hoses a little bit. 